Today we're going to talk about the Kona Spiked Island Seltzer. Hey there, NJBrew22.com here with another low carb keto carnivore chat slash uh, booze review. Uh, we try to do these on Friday. I, I'm trying to figure out what to do with my, uh, what do you call it, my YouTube channel. I may have to break it up into three or four uh, new channels. But anyway, this is uh, the Kona Island, Spiked Island Seltzer. It is 5% alcohol and 100 calories. We don't care about calories whatsoever. Has zero sugar, but it is two grams of carbs, which is interchangeable. Sugar is carbs and carbs equals sugar and it all raises your blood sugar level regardless if it's called sugar or not. We picked these up because it's an interesting packaging and I don't know, Hawaii seems uh, really nice and uh, comfortable. But uh, this is actually, I don't know if it's imported from Hawaii or not, but they, because they have, uh, this is from what company is this called? It's the Kona Brewing Company. And it's another one of those things where uh, the beer companies are figuring out that there is a growing, fastly growing market for low carb drinks. And this had like four flavors. Uh, it was uh, Tropical Punch, which tastes like Hawaiian Punch, Starfruit Lime, Strawberry Guava, and Passion Fruit Orange Guava. It's uh, pretty good. Here's a commercial from their uh, company. Dear Mainland, Aloha. My brother and I hear that most of you only disable your phones when you fly. You call it airplane mode. But maybe you don't have to get on a plane to get away, yeah? Allow my brother to demonstrate. You know what we call this? Kona mode. One life, right? Mahalo. Longboard Island Lager and Big Wave Golden Ale from Kona Brewing. Okay. So in general, we actually enjoyed these drinks. The taste uh, was really uh, good on their own. And the Tropical Punch was our favorite, but they all tasted good. But in, in the end, we're penny pinchers. So 17 bucks per 12 pack is a couple bucks more than our usual Smirnoff spiked sparkling seltzers and some of the other lower priced ones. So we're, I mean, over time, it may, it may only be a hundred bucks or more a year if you drank that uh, every week. And it's, a, it's one gram of carbs higher than some of the lower ones as well. I guess you could say we're going to keep it in our rotation just every now and then to mix things up. One thing we like about it, by the way, is the, uh, the regular soda can size cans. That's uh, actually turning into a, a bigger deal than I thought. And it may sway me over because the thin cans, I hate the skinny cans. They, I just hate them. I mean, you have your pet peeves. I have mine. I like regular cans. They're more, you know, girth to them. So that's it. Uh, I, I like these a lot and I think they're a, a good seltzer to keep in your rotation. But uh, if you're watching every gram of carbs like we do, you may want to keep that in mind. If you like this video, please hit the bell, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.